Uh, table below shows whether metals and salt solutions react or not. Uh, draw a label diagram with the apparatus used for the reaction and explain how you can use the results to work out uh, the order of reactivity of the metals. Well, very simply, um, we can do this uh, quickly in a beaker. So we simply need a beaker or a flask or something. Okay, we need to put the salt solution in the beaker. So I'm going to fill that with our salt solution. So maybe, for example, that could be a copper sulfate solution. Uh, and then we're going to put some, um, so that just put the metal in there. So we have some little uh, say zinc granules at the bottom here. This is the metal here. So this here would be the uh, zinc. So we're taking a metal and we are reacting it uh, with the a, a different metal salt solution. Uh, and we're going to need to stir that. So this is going to be our stirring rod. And we're just going to stir that continuously uh, around. So we need to label this as a beaker. Don't we ask for a label diagram. If it asks for a label diagram, then give it a label diagram. There's no such thing as uh, too simple. All right, so there's our, our apparatus. So the rule is uh, the most reactive metal uh, displaces a less reactive metal. Essentially, if we observe a reaction, uh, the metal is more reactive. Uh, if, no, if no reaction is observed, The metal, the metal on its own, uh, is less reactive. So looking at these results here, uh, magnesium reacts with copper sulfate, it reacts with zinc sulfate, therefore magnesium is more reactive than copper, magnesium is more reactive than zinc. So most reactive, magnesium. One. Second most reactive, um, let's have a look, uh, zinc, Zinc on its own reacts with copper sulfate, so zinc displaces the copper. Zinc is more reactive than copper. Uh, it doesn't react with itself, obviously. Um, and doesn't react with magnesium, so it's less reactive than magnesium. So number two, zinc, which means number three, copper reacts with nothing. Okay, so copper's not reactive, less reactive than the other two, so it doesn't react with either of them, copper. All these questions on Elsham High Chemistry 